Hi, Annette Green here with Graphic 45 and I'm outside. I don't know why, it's a beautiful day in Florida and I just thought, why not, right? Um, today I wanted to share with you my Mother Goose little baby mini album. So we're gonna do this outside. Okay, we'll go through the album together in just a moment, but I wanted to show you what went into, as far as products, went into making the baby album. And of course, it starts with a Graphic 45 regular tag album, uh, the Graphic 45 staples. There are six tags in here and one ring. I used five of the tags and I did not use the ring at all. Also are the um, Mother Goose collection and the 8x8 paper. Um, you could make two baby albums the way that I made them with one pad, so just know that. Also use the 6x6 in Mother Goose patterns and solids. A little bit of that. And then the um, double-sided cardstock in the tags and pockets. Used quite a few of those. And finally, the chipboard one in the Mother Goose collection. Okay, so let me take you through it. Just kind of tour through the book here. Um, the tags have been joined at the spine, much like I did my Steampunk Spells little mini album. And uh, then everything is tied together with a piece of this pretty checkered uh, May Arts ribbon. So here's the cover. I've added um, using a big die cut from Tim Holtz for the letters in the sun, I mean the moon and stars. And then um, also from Tim Holtz is this little charm here. And this little guy says once upon a time. This is from Hobby Lobby in the fairy tale section or the collection in the jewelry section of the store. Um, okay, so that's the cover. And anywhere you see uh, just solid paper like this is, this is, um, the signature series cardstock from coordinations that coordinates beautifully with all graphic 45 papers okay so for right away on the inside front cover on page one you'll see that my pages do kind of match as far as the spread so i'll always have two pattern papers here a cardstock solid here and i'll take you through that in more detail later but this is a little band here that i made has a little um, let's get a little closer. A little bu buckle type slide that this little band of paper slid through. And then I just adhered it on the ends, left and right ends, so I could put these little cut-aparts in. Okay, and then we have a photo mat on this side. A couple little cut-aparts. I like to use waxed twine as often as possible because it does what I want it to do. Um, you know, you can kind of make it shape and form as you like and you're not at the mercy of the, the thread. So more May Arts ribbon here to tie my little chipboard piece and you'll see that these kind of stagger around when you close the book. So this is page two and three and because it's such a tiny little album you want to put lots of pictures of your baby you have to add little things like this. So there's this little fold out section has a little tag and pocket couple of cutter parts from the paper and then a little chipboard five cent piece there to kind of grab a hold to open it up. More chipboard, more twine, and your pretty ribbon. Okay, this will be four and five. I just kind of utilized the heck out of all the chipboard and the double-sided cardstock pieces and lots of the paper. That's what I love about mini albums is you can use as much of the paper as possible. Mix and match. Use it all up. So here's a tiny little postcard I put in inside of one of the envelopes. Added some chipboard. Another tag. This is the top of one of the tags. I just used it, cut it apart, and used it as a little embellishment off to the right. And then the final two pages. More chipboard. Some big brads in there. Another star. And then this one's kind of fun. This is just a pull out for more photos. It uses a lot of those cute little cut aparts from the paper pack. And then you can go this way as well. Use a little bit different colored cardstock for this side. So this is the inside back cover. And then a little tag there to write a little something. And then the back cover, a little more chipboard, and then some pretty ribbon. And then I'm going to show you how the, the spine kind of works on this one if you didn't catch that first video I did. 
Okay, so the spine may look familiar to some of you. Um, it's basically an accordion folded black piece of cardstock in there, and then each of the tag pages are adhered to it. So I'll kind of show you again very quickly if you missed it before. Basically, I used a very nice thick piece of black cardstock. This is probably basil, and I cut it four inches by three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths is the measure of the Graphic 45 tags from top to bottom. Okay, so three by three, I'm mean, sorry, four by three and seven eighths, and then along the four, I scored every half inch and made accordion folds. So it's like this. Okay, and then you just take your score tape or something super sticky like that and put it on each one of the panels that goes up, nothing on this side. And then you take your very first, let's say this is your cover, you take your very first one, peel up the score tape, and square this on there. Okay, the grommet has a front and a back to it. This is the front side. And so that will be the start of your cover. And I wouldn't put any more pages on right now. I would just build up the elements on the front cover, mostly just the paper. And then when you go to do the inside front cover, you won't use a new tag, you'll just use the papers and materials to build right on here, use glue stick or whatever. And then you just continue on with that. The key thing is, every time you start a new right hand page, you need to peel and stick that page in first thing before you get any papers on it. And then that way when you flip over to the other side, you'll peel and then build on here and stick everything down. Okay, so let me kind of show you the basis for each page. All right, pretty simply here, I have created just a template that I use for all my pages, and it's just traced. It's a piece of black cardstock, just a little small piece. It doesn't have to be the full size of the tag. And I trace it out and punch with a half inch circle punch. It's a little tiny bit tight but I just use my thumb or fingernail to kind of burnish around the hole once I put the paper down. But I will use this template throughout. And then as you saw when I was showing the album, the basic formula for each page is that there is a base paper. And if I put my ruler on these base papers, just to make sure, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So these are squares. So this is the left hand, this is the right hand. So that's three and seven eighths square. And then I would use my template to a piece of cardstock. The cardstock measures one and seven eighths by the three and seven eighths. Okay, so I would trace this out, but I don't trace out the hole on the cardstock. Nope, yes I do. I trace out the hole on the cardstock. It's this little piece here that I will place back here. Trace it out and not trace out the hole because if you remember, when you look at the album, here's the piece of big pattern square back there. And then there's your pattern paper there with no hole. And then there's your cardstock with the hole punched out. And then to finish off, um, I made a little spine cover. As you can see, that's this paper here. And this measures three inches by the three and seven eighths. And I scored it at the one inch on each end. And so it basically, when you get all those pages on that um, accordion fold assembly done, I put a little bead of glue along the spines of all those little accordion points. Plus I put score tape on all of this in here for added strength. And then you just pop that on your book and kind of massage that glued part and, and press all this down so that holds it together. Now obviously you're going to be doing some of this before you get some of your elements on your cover. So just keep that in mind, okay? All right, well thank you for watching. I hope that made everything very clear and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, have a great day. Okay, we're all done out here, but I just wanted to show you who's been waiting very patiently for me. Oh, there she is. Hi, Sook. Hey, Suki. Are you awake now? I'm all done. You wanna play? Oh, you wanna play. Let's go play.